On the Health Watch today, pregnancies are usually divided into three trimesters, but experts say that there is a fourth that needs to be recognized now, the three months after a woman gives birth. Dr. Malika Marshall is here tonight, and Malika, obstetricians mm -hmm. just updated their recommendations for women during this time, this fourth trimester. That's, That's right, because you give birth and then everybody follows the baby and everybody forgets all about the mother, right? <laughs> they ignore you. They ignore you. And unfortunately, a lot of health issues don't just disappear yeah. as soon as you've given birth, whether it's high blood pressure or diabetes, mental health issues, asthma, and then new ones arise, right? Mm, yeah. Fatigue and pain and breastfeeding issues and postpartum depression. So the American uh, College of Obstetrics and Gynecology is saying, look, women should be checked in with at about three weeks after they've given birth, whether by phone or in person, mm -hmm. and have a more comprehensive visit by 12 weeks, that sort of fourth trimester, to make sure that all of their health issues are addressed and that they continue to have ongoing mm -hmm. care. And one of, the, one of the things that new moms <laughs> deal with, of course, is stress, and one way to deal with that, mm -hmm. maybe take a soak in a hot tub. And mm -hmm. researchers from the University of Oregon studied six women with polycystic ovary syndrome. Yeah, and they discovered that soaking in a tub for an hour several times a week could provide some health benefits. So what do you think about this? So t PCOS affects about 10% of reproductive aged women mm -hmm. and it characteristically causes multiple cysts on ovaries but it also can increase the risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes and infertility and in this study they found, found that after two months of regular hot tub use that some of the women had lower blood pressure, lower heart rates, less insulin sensitivity or uh, resistance, and some of them actually had more regular menstrual cycles and clearer skin. Now, they don't really know what's at play. It might be that it decreases inflammation, it could increase blood flow, and more research is needed before you just go and hop in a hot tub to but get once healthier. You, once yeah. you are pregnant, no hot tub. That is correct. We're going back to the first story. No. Yes. Right. right. Okay. right. That, but good excuse once you've had a baby to say, sorry, but right. I'm soaking a tub. Right. <laughs> it's you for can my come, health. Right. Call me later. We'll wait till the baby right. comes out. And don't take it's the baby in the hot tub with you. you Never. Well, right. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Malik Dr. Marshall. <laughs> Boy, we covered a lot of ground. <laughs> we, we, did. Did. we have much more still ahead here. Stay with us. The news at 6 o'clock starts.